I had a pretty tough start to the season. I turned pro in uh, September 2013, went to tour school in the December and um, didn't get my full card, so I didn't have a full status on the European tour, so that would mean I wouldn't get into every tournament. Um, the first event I got an invite into was in Morocco. I missed the cut there, um, went on to Turkey, and I made the cut, but I didn't have a great tournament, so it was a bit of a slow start for me. Um, and then I had a few tournaments in a row. Um, the first one was actually qualifying for the US Open at the Buckinghamshire, and I qualified to get into the US Open, and that was really where it kicked off my year. I went to Germany, I think I finished fourth there, um, and then that got me an invite into the next tournament. So if you finish top ten, you automatically get an invite into the next event. I went on to Prague and finished second there. Um, I went to the European Masters, which is one of the biggest events on the European tour that we play, as it's in England, and uh, finished eighth there. That got me straight into the British Open the following week. I wasn't really thinking about Rookie of the Year too much, um, which is the rookie of the year is the best newcomer for the year and um, people started speaking to me more and more about it as I was doing well um, and then towards the end of the season it was really a two horse race between me and another girl going into Dubai I was leading the rookie of the year and I can't m remember how much money it was between me and the girl lying in second place but it wasn't, wasn't a lot and if I'd missed the cut and she made it and she did a top 20 let's say I think she would have overtaken me um, but it was fun, it, we got drawn together to play with each other in Dubai, which always happens with the rookies at the end of the year. So it was, um, I had quite a lot of pressure on me that week to perform, um, but I just, I really enjoyed playing and uh, had quite a good week anyway, so it was a good end to the year. My dad got me started, I think I was about six years old. Um, I've got two older sisters and they both, um, they both represented Wales as well, and uh, yeah, I think I used to go around with one club in my hand when I was about six years old and just used to copy my sisters and my mum plays as well. Um, my dad's the pro at my ST golf club so he did get me started very young. And then I think I got my first handicap when I was about nine. Started playing, entering like the Welsh events. I started entering the Wee Wonders and things like that. And yeah, I just loved it. It was always something that I wanted to do. I never really thought about doing anything else, to be honest. I was a part of quite a few teams. I played all home international teams for Wales. I went on to play for Great Britain and Ireland in the Curtis Cap and Vagliano Trophy. Um, and it was all a great experience. When I played Junior Ryder Cup, um, I actually played against Jordan Spieth in one of my matches, who's now leading the Masters. So it's crazy to think how far, how far you can go and just thinking I've played against one of the best players in the world. So it's um, quite surreal. When I was young, I always looked up to Sergio Garcia. I think at the time he was doing really well. Um, he's got the Spanish charm, he was just very fun to watch on the golf course, always smiling. Um, Tiger Woods, I got to meet him as well and I think it was 2011 or 12 and um, got to watch him play golf up close and he was just a real inspiration to, to listen to and I was just a bit in awe of him. In the women's game, I looked up to Annika Sorenstam for quite a long time. Um, she was the only really woman I'd heard of. She was number one in the world for years. I'm trying to do everything I can, especially for Welsh golf um, and especially for girls in, in Wales. There's not many Welsh girls out on tour, so it'd be nice to have a few friends out there. <laughs> Short term goals, um, I'm going to try and get on the LPGA tour. I'm going to go at the end of the year. So that's the tour over in America. And that's the biggest tour we have. It's where the best players in the world are. And that's where I want to be competing. Future goals, I want to be winning majors. I want to be winning tournaments just putting myself in contention and trying to be one of the best players in the world as well. Uh, one of my dreams is to play Solheim Cup, um, which is where Europe play America. I love team golf and it's something I really miss from when I played amateur golf with Wales. I love playing golf, I love the challenges it, it brings and you get to meet a lot of great people. Um, so I'd encourage anyone to get into the sport. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic way to, to meet people and socialise and uh, enjoy the challenges.